We live in times now where it's about abortion being accessible and accessible at any and all cost. And I mean any and all costs. And I'll talk about that in a minute. We live in a time where abortion is seen as a viable form of birth control. I mean, I, I saw a birth control pamphlet not that long ago, and it had all the different forms of birth control, the pill, the patch, the depo provera, the implant, the all these things. And the last form of birth control, abortion. So a woman over her lifetime having eight, nine, ten abortions is not unheard of anymore. This, this safe and legal and rare thing, that's gone. That's long gone. And the financial part of it is really not a barrier anymore because you have people like Warren Buffett giving 23, 25, 30 million dollars a year to organizations like Planned Parenthood to fund women having abortions, particularly low income population i.e. minority women to have abortions. This is part of the plan. This has always been part of the plan. This is what they're about. And you look at me and you go, Abby, they can't be that sinister. They can't be that diabolical. They kill babies for a living. Of course they are that sinister. Of course they are that scandalous. Of course they are that diabolical. Look at what they do each and every day. Of course they are. This is demonic. We're talking about demons here. We're not just talking about something that is wrong. We're not just talking about right and wrong. We're talking about good versus evil. And so, you know, my life had been, had been this, this, you know, growing up in a, a church, and, and I, remember, I remember receiving the Lord as my personal Savior. I remember that. I remember making that public profession of faith. I lived for the Lord. I, I served him. I remember believing that abortion was wrong. But then I began living for the world in college, like many college kids do. Look at what's happening to college kids today. I, I was, I mean, I was no different than many college kids today. Look what's happening. We're sending our kids off to these liberal institutions. The best thing you can do for your kid is not to send them to college. 